Hey everyone, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, we are gonna be recreating Apple's website right inside of Wix Studio. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are in Wix Studio and what we're gonna to want to do is create our, the first section here. And this, the first three sections are basically gonna be the exact same thing. So we're just gonna have a semi-tall section with some text and an image underneath. And that's the same thing for basically all three sections. So what we're gonna do is leave it at about this size and we're gonna add our background image. So we're gonna come over to media and we're gonna grab our first image here. And let's just see how it looks when it's stretched. I will say this does look pretty good, but I think I need a little bit more space above. So we can kind of do two things here. We can grab the section and make it a little bit taller, maybe like 600. Or what we can do is grab this image and maybe add like 5% margin to the top to give it a little bit more space. And then we'll grab the section and we'll set the background color to match the image here. So it's just black. So it's gonna look just like that. Now as for text, it's just gonna say iPhone 15 Pro, titanium so strong, so light so pro. So what we're gonna do is come on over here. Let's go ahead and add some text. So we'll do a heading one text right here. We'll say iPhone 15 Pro. We'll make this white. We'll center the text and just for ease, we'll also set the responsive behavior to hug. And basically what hug does is the content inside of the bounding box, it's gonna make the bounding box the size of the content inside of it. So if I undo what I just did, you'll see the bounding box, it has a bunch of space over here on the left and the right. But as soon as we switch it from scale proportionately to hug, the bounding box basically wraps the content inside of it. So that is what hug does. And we're gonna place this right about here. Underneath that, let's go ahead and grab our paragraph element. And it's gonna say titanium, so strong, so light, so pro. And then we are going to make this color white as well. We'll expand this out a little bit. We'll align the text to the center and just like we did with the heading font or heading text element, and we'll set the responsive behavior to hug. Now we'll just center it just like this. Underneath that, we're gonna have a learn more and buy button. So what we can do is just grab this text element here and we can type in learn more. Let's set this to like 22 pixels in size. For the responsive behavior, once again, we'll set this to learn more. We'll also center it, even though we don't really need to do that right now. And just for fun, let's go ahead and add an interaction on hover. And what we're gonna want to do with this text element is just add an underline. Perfect. So now anytime when someone hovers over the learn more text here, it will have an underline. Now let's copy and paste this. And instead of learn more, we're gonna say buy. We're gonna place these basically side by side. We'll grab both of these, we'll stack them together. Let's center this and we'll put it right underneath the paragraph text. Then we'll grab these three elements here and we'll stack them together. We'll make sure this is centered and we are now done with this section. Let's go ahead and copy and paste this. So we're gonna say copy paste. So now we have a second one. However, for this one, it's just gonna be for the regular iPhone 15. And another thing to notice is we have this white border here. Um, so what we're gonna do to simulate this is with the image that we place in, we're gonna add a little bit of margin. So for this image here, let's go ahead and change this out. We want it to be the iPhone 15. We will go ahead and stretch it and we're gonna add like 20 pixels to the top and 20 pixels to the bottom. And then for the section itself, let's set this to white. Perfect. Now this one isn't the 15 Pro, it's just the regular 15. So we'll go ahead and remove that. We'll also grab both of these text elements, set this to black. And let's go ahead and change out this paragraph. So this one says new camera, new design, new for you. So we'll go ahead and change this out. Perfect. For this last section here, it's gonna talk about the watch. So let's go ahead and duplicate this section up here because we want the black background, but we're gonna come over to the layers panel and we're gonna move this section underneath this one just to reorder it ever so slightly. Then we're gonna grab this image here and change it out for the watches. Perfect. 
And for this one, they actually have the Apple Watch logo, and then we have the text and the buttons here as well. So what we're gonna do is come over to add, we're gonna go to media, and let's grab the Apple Watch logo here, make it a smidge bigger. Then we're gonna place it inside of the stack, just like this, and we will delete the iPhone 15 Pro text here. Let's give it a little bit more space in between the elements, and let's go ahead and change the text. Perfect. So now we have the first three sections done on the page. Next, we have kind of like this grid layout. I think there are like, there's six different areas here. There's the iPad, the Vision Pro, the MacBook Air, the AirPods, Trade-In and Apple Card. So for this, I think what we're gonna have to do is set up a layouter. And the reason we don't wanna do a repeater for this is because you can see over here, the image is below and the text elements are above. But over here, we have the image taking up the full background and the text is on the bottom. So we need to have a little more control than what a repeater can give us in this instance. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a section here. This section is gonna be pretty long. So for now, I'm gonna set this to like 2000 pixels. Over here in the add panel, we're gonna come over to layout tools, flex boxes, and let's just grab this one out right here. Let's stretch this. But in the panel here, we're gonna set the margins. Actually, no, let's grab the section. And for padding, let's go ahead and add like 20 pixels. And we're gonna to want to add that to all sides, just like that, fantastic. Now let's go ahead and grab the flex box. And what we're gonna do is set the gaps in between to 20 pixels as well. And then for item width, I just wanna set this to 50%. Actually, we'll set it to 48% because we do have to consider the gaps here as well. So 48 will allow us to actually separate it just like this. Okay, let's also add two more items here. So we should have something that looks like this, perfect. Um, I will say this is a little bit too tall. So what we're gonna do is grab the section up here and let's set this to like 1600. Maybe that's still a little bit too big. So let's do like 1200. And if we check back over here, I think that should give us this, like somewhat the right dimensions that we're going for. Um, maybe we can do like 1300 just to give us a little bit more room, fantastic. And then we're gonna grab the item for each of these and we'll just remove the background. This is gonna be for the iPad. So let's go ahead and grab our iPad image. So we'll go to add, media, show more. And let's grab the iPad image here. Let's go ahead and place it right inside the layouter and we'll stretch it, perfect. And now what we wanna do is, I just wanna grab this text element up here and we're just gonna paste it inside of this item. Now we obviously don't want it to be this big, so we're gonna to have to adjust the sizing a little bit. But before we do that, let's just go ahead and replace the text. Perfect. So for this size, let's go ahead and set this to like 32. We'll set this text to maybe like 18. And let's just go ahead and do that for these text elements here as well. Now we can move this text up to the top, right about here. And I think that looks pretty good just like that. And if we wanted to, we could also add a like 5% margin to the top of this image. And then for the background of this item here, we can try to set it to white. You can see it's still a little bit off. I mean, I do think the image has a slight gradient. So I'm gonna restretch the image. So I'm gonna grab the image here and I'm gonna do like negative 5% just to move it down a little bit. But then we're gonna grab the item and we're gonna say overflow content hide. And it's basically going to clip the content to its container box, which is the item. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Vision Pro. Once again, let's start with our image. So we're gonna come over to our media press show more, and we're gonna add the Apple Vision Pro, drag this into this item, and we're gonna stretch it, perfect. Inside of this, we're gonna grab this stack right here, and we're gonna paste it in. Now this stack's gonna be lower, right down here, and I believe for this one, they actually used the Apple Vision Pro logo here, instead of text. So, just like we did with the Apple Watch, we're gonna come over here, grab the Apple Vision Pro logo, to make it a bit smaller, we're gonna place it in the stack here and we'll remove the iPad text. It resized this, so let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger again. We'll center it just like that. And then for this one, they actually only have a learn more button. They don't have a buy because it's not out yet. 
and they also have a little bit of text here saying available early next year in the US. So let's go ahead and change the text and add a little bit more text. And we'll also remove the buy button as well. And then for this available next year font or text, let's go ahead and make it like a light gray or like a medium gray. Okay, so now let's just go ahead and adjust the spacing a little bit between these elements here. And we can expand this out a little bit as well. Bring down the size of the logo, make sure the logo is centered. And we'll also make sure the stack is centered as well. Perfect. Now we can work on the MacBook Air 15 inches. So we're gonna scroll down just a little bit, just like we've been doing. We're gonna add the image for the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air 15 inches. And this one does have the same stack as, as this one. So we're just gonna paste this one in here. We'll send it to the top and maybe we'll add 5% margin here and we'll type in MacBook Air 15 inch and we'll change the text. Okay, and just like we did with the iPad up here, you know, it's getting a, pretty close to the text element here. So we're gonna grab the image, we'll say like negative 10%, something like that. And then we will also grab the item and we'll set the overflow content to hide. Perfect. Now over here, this one is gonna be for the AirPods. So this one is basically just like this one over here, just with black background and white text. So of course we will start with the AirPods image here. Drag this over here and we'll stretch it. Let's grab the stack over here. We'll copy it. We'll bring it over here to this element here. We'll paste it, send it to the top and give it 5% margin. Let's grab both of these text elements here and we'll make these white just so we can see what we're doing. And let's go ahead and change the text. Great. All right, now we only have two more of these elements to do. The next one is gonna be their trade-in. And then the last one's gonna be their Apple Card. So I think I wanna start with their Apple Card real quick. So let's go ahead and jump to this one. Um, just like before, we're gonna start with the image. So we'll grab the Apple Card image. We'll stretch it. And we're gonna grab this stack right here because we want black text on a white background. We'll send it to the top and a 5% margin. And for this one, it's gonna be the Apple Card logo instead of the text. So let's go ahead and add the logo here. We'll go to show more. We'll do the Apple Card logo here. We'll place this inside of the stack. We'll delete the MacBook Air text, give it a little bit more space and we'll make the logo a smidge bigger. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and change the text. And then we need to change the button from buy to apply now. So we'll just change this text right here to apply now. Perfect. Now, last but not least, we are gonna do the Apple trade-in. So let's go ahead and grab that image here. We'll place this in, we will stretch it. Then we're gonna grab this stack right here and we're gonna paste it over here. Fantastic. Send it to the top, add 5% margin. Let's change this logo out for the Apple trade-in logo. Let's go into the settings because it got clipped. So what we're gonna do is say reset image and then we can make it a smidge bigger. Then we'll center it. For this one, we only have one button. So we're just gonna delete one of them and we're gonna type in this text right here. So we'll say get $200 through $650 in credit when you trade an iPhone 11 or higher. And then for this button, it's gonna say, see what your device is worth. Perfect. So for this image, let's go ahead and select it and we'll, and we'll set the bottom margin to negative 10%. And just like before, we'll grab the item itself and we'll set the overflow content from show to hide, just so we can let our text breathe a little bit more without the image kind of getting in the way and making it hard to read. But there we go. We basically have finished this part of the website. Now the last part is just kind of a little slider that shows like current shows or popular shows on their Apple TV service. So what we're gonna do is add a new section. In here, we're gonna wanna add like a slideshow repeater. So what we're gonna do is just grab this one right here. Okay. And we can just go ahead and delete the text here and we can delete all the content inside of it. And then under media, let's go ahead and grab one of our images here. So let's grab Ted Lasso because I absolutely love this show. What we're gonna do is send this to the top left for now. And I want to bring this out to match the height of the repeater section. I wanna make it the same height as our section. And then we're gonna go ahead and make it align it to the center. 
And then what we can do is go ahead and press the next item by coming over to our layer panel and we can grab this item and then we can delete this. And we'll go ahead and just delete this one over here as well because realistically we just want this one. So we're just gonna duplicate this one two more times. And I realized that the Ted Lasso image was not actually in the repeater. So we need to actually put it inside the repeater item. Then we'll make it the same height again. Perfect, let's center it. And now let's duplicate this one a couple times. Okay, and then in each of these, we're gonna go ahead and change the image out for the other one. So we'll do the morning show for the second one. And then last but not least, we'll change this one to the messy in America image. And then last but not least, let's grab the slideshow repeater and let's add 20 pixels of margin to the bottom just to give us a little bit of space in between the footer and this little slideshow repeater. So now if we come all the way up to the top of the website and we press preview, here is the Apple homepage built inside of Wix Studio. But that's basically gonna wrap it up for today's video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix Studio content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you on the next one.